Hi guys, and this is Yolita Brilliant, uh, the owner and esthetician, massage therapist. Today I wanted to make a video about things that I'm really excited is, um, and those things are peels. So after I graduated aesthetic school, I really became really excited about skin peels and to, oh Jesus, sleepy. I woke up early today. So there's also peel alternatives, which I'm also gonna talk about. And I'm gonna specifically talk about uh, PCA peels. Now they do have excellent masks, which are almost as strong as like a light peel, like especially like, and like papaya masks they have. Pumpkin, I don't think they make pumpkin one more, but. But maybe I'll talk about masks some other time. But I want to talk about the um, the peels. And you know, the first peel would be the PCA peel, which is this one. Now this one specific one is hydroquinone free, but they also make one with the hydroquinone, and it's a modified Jessner's peel, which has 14% lactic acid, 14% salicylic acid, and 14% resorcinol. 50% plus minus denatured alcohol, then PCA added into the Jessner's modified Jessner solution, they added 30% kojic acid. Kojic is a brightening ingredient, 2% hydroquinone and citric acid. This is the ones with have, the ones that have hydroquinone, obviously this does not have hydroquinone. Then it has um, okay. Citric acid, just near spilling solutions. For, okay, already talked about uh, lactic, salicylic, and then and resorcinol blended in an alcohol base considered superficial chemical peeling agent. Okay, so a little bit history behind it. This combination of ingredients was first documented in the JAMA 1941. And there's a lot of names, so I'm not gonna say all that, but the hydroquinone free one is ideal for sensitive skin type, ethnic skin, or allergic to hydroquinone. The reason why you wouldn't want to use hydroquinone on ethnic skin is because um, there was like people, I think in in Africa, I believe, they overuse hydroquinone and their skin were trying to, it, their skin can turn like bluish color. So that's why hydroquinone um, gets bad rap for, but it's it's perfectly fine for people who have light skin, you know. So hydroquinone does not cause cancer, any, you, you know, nonsense that is not true that you might have heard, but it can, it can like this color people's skin that already have dark skin. I'm gonna make it bluish, so. So um, it does help to, uh, improve the appearance of breakout from skin and it's stronger than let's say Sensi Peel but so if you're new to peels you might start with Sensi Peel but it's kind of that's what I started and I've done this is my like third peel it my skin's still peeling but you can't really tell I am wearing a general mineral makeup and some egg but uh, with the eyebrows and stuff like that but uh you know, it is um, still not very strong. You know, not like um, it's not going to make you, unless you have very sensitive skin. I actually seen people peel a lot even from Sensi peel. So it really varies, but you know, this is not a deep peel like you would get a dermatologist's office where they just, oh, I, yeah, I've, I've heard like some very intense peeling stories where you can, have like even um, how do you call those um, scabs, whatever. So <clears throat> the ones with hydroquinone is also good good for evening skin tone, and that's what I would recommend. Um, but yeah, so now the TCA peels. So that would be the PCA peel is modified and enhanced Jensner's solution peel, okay? Then we have the TCA peels, which is the Sensi peel, the Ultra peel, 
one this is the ultra peel one they also made the ultra peel tool and then we have smoothing body peel this one right here okay so this is for body <laughs> and it's strong okay 40% lactic acid it keeps falling here so and then we use pre peel accelerator mask and this is what I'm used it for is for my bumpy skin here and I've seen a great improvement but you wouldn't want to put this on the face it's too harsh also I've used it on my knees and a little bit elbows and on the knees because I do kneel a lot when I do massage my knees get discolored and people who do flooring and stuff like that I'm sure you know your knees get rough and discolored even like knee pants doesn't really help all the time but um so by mistake I put once I thought it oh, I was doing detox gel pour and on myself not on a plant okay it was late at night I was tired and uh, I was doing a facial onto myself and then I'm like oh this kind of burns because deep pour detox should not burn I'm like a minute later I realized I put the body peel on my nose instead of deep pour detox shell but you know what it's still not that strong like it didn't cause me any damage or anything it just actually was really nice peel on my nose my nose looked look much much smoother after like it definitely peeled you know but after it peeled off so I mean these are all peels actually not really gonna damage over your skin they're just not like strong enough it's not like six percent like retinol peel you know you, you would get that on dermatologist's office but um so ultra peel forte we don't have that one in here uh, but uh, we do have the so the sensi peel the tca ultra peel so the sensi peel is uh, for all fitzpatrick skin types exceptional for uh, exceptional choice for ethnic skin those with extremely sensitive skin types actually can do it with people with rosacea too maybe wouldn't put a lot of layers directly or where on where the rosacea is but like you know other areas fine and it's going to peel but it's gonna make the skin smoother nicer so it inhibits melanogenesis which is discoloration strengthens and hydration improves hydration um, and you know highly effective with no bad side effects uh, ultra peel is more for darker skin types and mature skin this one it does have kojic and azelaic acids that act as antibacterial agents as well as melanogenesis inhibitors so excellent choice for more like older people or thicker skin people and then we have already talked about this one and now we let's talk about the uh, there's also peel alternative so deep pore treatment the enzymatic so deep pore is great for you know someone who doesn't want to do a peel can do uh, deep pore detox shell and this is the only peel that we can combine with steam it's not afraid of water these are not water you don't want to mix them with water it's gonna burn because these are gonna drop if we, if we they're acidic if we add water it's gonna drop your acidity level and it's gonna burn so we um it's the only one that we can uh, use you know hot towel on top we can use water if you need to uh, so it clears pores and reduces sebum production instant results you can see instantly i love to do this people have a lot of like those those are black little dots they're not blackheads those are just clogged like sebum filaments um but it clears them out it's actually better than extractions because it's not going to cause broken capillaries it's not going to cause irritation pain discomfort uh scarring great for clearing those black little things out not a fan of too harsh um, mechanical exfoliation, mechanical picking. I was a skin picker for a long time and trust me it caused a lot of scarring on myself before I went to aesthetic school um, trying to undo the damage now with peels okay and it's working so good news there is hope. And oxygenating trio is really nice 
and some um, contains antioxidants, enzymes, leaves skin smooth, purified, and glowing. So this is great, like for spe before special events. And there is like step one, two, three, but sometimes these steps are used separately too on their own. They have excellent, excellent ingredients in them. It's all the enzymatic treatment. This is kind of like a peel. I've done this, um, you know, and I've noticed that it can make people peel as well. It peeled me personally too, even though it's not a peel, but it is actually, I feel like it's stronger than the Sensi peel. It kind of really regenerates your skin too. Um, it's powerful, enzymatic, and it has AHA, in it, botanical extracts, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, really makes your skin glowing too. So I want to also, before I close up the video here, the oxygenating trio, I want to tell you the ingredients on that. And there's all these products have such amazing ingredients, I could go on and on and on. But I'm going to just finish with the oxygenating trio. Come on, where are you? Because trust me, like I maybe in some time I will remember this by memory. Oh, the other thing is advanced treatment booster. We add this too. It's nice. It says retinol, retinoid blend, vitamin A, 10.5 percent. It has also lentil, silex, or 3 percent, panthenol, blah, blah, blah. Panthenol, Vitus, Agnes, uh, so many great stuff. But if you want to learn more, you can uh, ask me, uh, you know, directly. Just send me a question. The PCA do have the 4% retinol peel, which I don't have right now here in stock. I, I'm thinking to buy that to try too. The retinol 6%, that would be only allowed to doctors. Gosh, so why am I not finding the trio ingredient list in this book? Oh, there it is. So it is niacinamide 5%, which um, the clear skin cream has too, which I use daily. Panthenol 2%, uh, Candida cytona type of fungi that encourages skin detoxification blend. Uh, it improves oxygen production, unique compounds, infuse skin with oxygen, encourage circulation. And step, let's see, what's, where is the step two? Key benefits. So we got active, okay. Detoxifier, oxygenator. Well, you get the just I mean, my video is already 40 minutes I should probably wrap this up but anyways thanks for watching I might review the masks some other time so please subscribe like let me know if you have any videos and if you'd like to book a facial with us here at Galene Massage and Skin we have not just me we have more estheticians and work, people working here as well as massage therapy and now we are for also bridal on-site service as for me cold. Maybe we'll make some videos for that sometime too. Bye!